one of the fastest growing sports in this country, Canadian rugby is making strides both on and off the pitch. Jocelyn Landry, a role model, has taken this sport to new levels both in community involvement and through her play. The Olympic bronze medalist speaks on the importance of getting youth involved, especially young female athletes. Yeah, I mean, women's sport in Canada, it's growing and there's so many successful women's teams and female athletes in Canada right now, but at the end of the day, the grassroots is, is where it all begins. And so programs like this, where kids, young boys, young girls get the opportunity to, to play the game that I fell in love with, and you know, you hear them screaming and smiling and laughing, it's, it's huge. And I think the more kids that we have playing is, is gonna make our national teams stronger, regardless of if it's rugby or another sport. 2016 Rio Olympics marked a milestone for Canadian female athletes. A report from CBC Online noted that out of the total 22 medals earned, the women captured much of the glory leading with an outstanding 72% of the medal count. Of the medals earned by the women's teams, Landry acknowledges the barriers that Canadian female athletes face at all levels of the game. The other thing is that we're still, you know, a lot of sports are kind of old boys clubs and you know you're fighting stigmas and and stereotypes in that sense and you know the financial support that men's programs get historically is always greater than than women then you know for us it's a full-time job but you still have to pay the bills and you still have to buy groceries and whoa <laughs> and do those things but you need money to do that so I think there's a huge financial barrier that's still you know from grassroots all the way up until the senior levels where there are trials and tribulations there is also comfort that the most important aspect of sport is participation the values demonstrated through playing the game can transcend lives and build character. As young people, you just need to play rugby and you need to play, you know, and gain experiences on the field, whether that's 10s, 15s, 7s, whatever it's going to be. You just need to play rugby. And, you know, a lot of people do start in 7s or in 15s and then move over to 7s, and, and some people stay in 15s. But when you're young, it's, it's really just about getting minutes and, and enjoying what you're doing. While the desire to succeed reigns supreme for athletes from grassroots to senior levels, Landry reflects on what is most important in this game, especially in the early years. I think for me, I always come back to what it's given me. And, you know, if I can pass that on to another kid, it's the confidence, the self-esteem that you can get through sport. You know, I see so many people in all parts of life that are struggling with, with the self-esteem and confidence stuff, and sport can give you that, whether it's rugby or other sports. So to have kids out here, you know, you watch little kids that are standing on the sidelines at the start and then, you know, you grab their hand and by the end of it, they're, they're playing and laughing and enjoying themselves. And you watch that kid kind of grow and kind of believe in what they're doing. To me, that's kind of what it's all about. A leader to many, Jocelyn Landry exemplifies that rugby is a sport that unifies all walks of life. Whether or not you participate in this sport, the lessons learned through play can help you throughout the rest of your life. Pick up a ball, find an open field, and share your love of this game or any game with someone new.